de cantar con quien todo me ha dado como hijo de artista formado al ritmo de la clave y del bongo oh, oh, y yo orgulloso me siento soneros de escuchar mi retoño cantando si los años poco a poco irán pasando To the wonderful world of salsa dancing. If you follow Lana and Edgar and practice with them, by the time you finish this program, you will be dancing this sequence of steps. You will also learn what to wear, what kind of shoes to choose, a brief history of salsa music, as well as the manners of the nightclub. You will be ready to go out for a night on the town. In this video, you will learn the salsa's very basic step. How the gentleman signals the lady to turn. The cross body lead. Gentleman leads lady to different areas of the dance floor. You can add flair to the cross body lead with a turn. Simple but dynamic side by side. Dubbing into the advanced course, open break will allow you to switch positions, incorporating some dynamic moves. And finally, to top it off, a dip. But before we go there, let's familiarize yourself with the basic beat of salsa music. Salsa music has eight beats, but the dance itself has only six steps. We do not count four or eight. So it would be like one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Some instructors like to use quick, quick, slow. Here we will stick to numbers. First, stand facing each other, about a foot or two apart. Gentlemen, raise your hand to the lady's shoulder level. Ladies, put your hand in his palm. Gently hold her hand. This hand will signal her how to move. Gentleman's right hand should lightly rest on her left shoulder blade. The lady should place her left hand lightly on his shoulder. This is the basic pose for salsa dancing. Why not try it yourselves? Gentlemen's left hand and lady's right hand. Gentlemen's hand on her shoulder blade. The lady's left hand on his shoulder. Let's take a look at some commonly made mistakes. Do not interlock your fingers. Gently hold her hand so you can guide her. Your right hand should be on her left shoulder blade. Now you're ready to start the basic steps. The basic step may seem easy enough, yet it is the basis for all the advanced steps. Please take the time to get to know the rhythm of salsa. One, gentlemen, step forward with your left foot. The lady steps back with her right foot. One, gentlemen's left foot. Put your weight on the feet you have just moved. Two, shift your weight to the other foot. Three, you will move back to your original position. Four is the short pause, which we do not count. Now, let's do it yourselves. One, 
two, three, pause. The next part is the reverse of what we just did. Five, gentlemen, take a step back with your right foot. Ladies, step forward with your left foot. Five, move your balance into the feet you just moved. Six, shift your weight. Seven, move back to the original position and pause. Now let's practice. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 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 Now let's take a look at some commonly made mistakes. If you have to reach out to your partner, you're too far apart. The distance between you should be a foot or two. Do not slouch. Dance like a proud gentleman and an elegant lady. Do not stop. It's one, two, three, pause, five, six, seven, pause. Not one, two, three, stop, five, six, seven, stop. Keep moving to the beat. Your steps are too long. Make short steps. You're bouncing too much. Keep your legs straight. Short steps. Let's practice some more. just mastered the basic steps. When we come back, we'll practice your first turn. We just played what is called salsa. Salsa is based on clave pattern, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four is silent. These are congas. Usually it's three drums. This is a quinto. This is conga, and the big one is tumba. They accompany the other percussions like timbales. This is called timbal. Together, we create patterns, rhythmic patterns. This is called cowbell in English. Gangarria in Cuba. Campana in the rest of Latin America. This is, we will call the kick drum of the salsa, which keeps the straight tempo for the dancer to have a constant click track. In salsa music, maracas and guiro 
is the highs of the music. With the conga, which is the lower tone, it will create a beautiful uh, harmonic. Salsa's basic steps. Now let's study how to make a turn. Single turn. The first two beats are just like basic steps. One, two. On three, gentlemen raise the lady's hand slightly above her head and pause. When the gentleman raises a hand, he is telling the lady, you are about to make a turn. Now you try. One, two, three, raise your hand and pause. On five, just like in basic steps, gentleman steps back with his right foot. Lady, step forward with your left foot. Let's do it yourself. Five. On six, the lady turns 180 degrees, facing straight back. Her right foot points straight back. Let's try this movement. Six. Seven. You will turn back to face him and pause. Let's give it a try. Seven and pause. And we'll go back to one. Let's try the whole movement in one sequence. Start just like the basic steps. One, two, three, raise her hand, pause, five, Gentleman steps back. Six, the lady turns, faces the other way. Seven, the lady completes her turn. And pause. Let's practice this step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Notice gentleman does not stop while lady is turning. He keeps stepping to the beat. Let's take a look at some of the more commonly made mistakes. Do not jerk her arm, nor raise it too high, too sudden. Always be gentle and smooth. You're guiding her. On the other hand, if you do not raise her hand high enough, Sometimes, when the lady completes her turn, she ends up not facing her partner. To prevent this, on six, the lady needs to make sure her foot is straight back and completes her turn. If her foot is not pointing straight, she might end up going away from him or undershoot herself. It is very important in salsa dancing that you dance on a straight line. To make sure you're dancing straight, you can draw a straight line on the floor, or put a straight tape, or you can use the floorboard as the guide for the straight line. Now let's practice some more. First, basic steps, followed by single turn. One, two, three, 
five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now you've learned the basic step and the single turn. In the next section, you will learn cross body lead. To make beautiful turns like this, you need special dancer's shoes. They have suede on the bottom. This makes it easier for the dancer to make turns on the dance floor. If you wear ordinary shoes, it's not only difficult to make a turn, but it could be dangerous. Always wear dancer's shoes. Think this might limit your wardrobe expression? Think again. Gentlemen's shoes. Ladies' shoes. Body lead. Like basic step one, gentleman takes a step forward. The lady takes a step back. Let's all do this. One, two. Gentlemen, move your right foot to your right, stepping aside to make way for the lady. Ladies, put your left foot forward. Let's do this together. Two. Three. Gentlemen, move your left foot out to make a pathway for the lady. Ladies, take a long step with your right foot. It would look like this. And pause. Let's do it together. Three. Gentlemen moves out of the way. The lady steps forward. And pause. Next, five. Gentlemen, use your right hand and give the lady a gentle push. Ladies, it's your cue. Take another step forward with your left foot. While gentlemen, you take a tiny step to shift your weight to your right foot. It would look like this. Let's do it together. Five. Gentlemen, give her a push and shift weight. Ladies, step forward. On six, ladies, Step forward with your right foot while turning around. On seven, pull your left foot next to your right, facing the gentleman. While gentlemen, take your right foot and step up to face the lady and pause. Six, seven, pause. Let's do it together. Six. Ladies, step forward and turn. Seven, lady and gentleman face each other, pause. Let's do it one more time. One. Gentlemen, take a step forward. Ladies, step back. Two. 
Gentlemen, move your right foot. Ladies, step on your left foot. Three, make a big step to make a pathway for the lady. Ladies, step forward. Pause. Five, give the lady a push. Step across. Six, ladies make a big step while turning. Seven, face each other. Pause. Let's do it one more time, this time coming back. One, gentlemen, take a step forward. Two, move your right foot. Ladies, step on your left foot. Three, gentlemen makes a pathway for the lady. Ladies, step forward. Pause. Five, give lady a push. Ladies, make a big step and six, turn. Seven, face each other. Pause. Now, let's practice some more. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. some commonly made mistakes. Now what is wrong with this picture? Take a look at her arm. Her arm moves freely like a strand of spaghetti. This makes it hard for the gentleman to lead. Lock your elbow at a 90 degree angle. This makes it easy for the gentleman to lead. not make steps too big, especially when stepping aside for the lady. This is not appealing. On the other hand, if your steps are too short, it'll look bad. Find good steps. Ladies, again, do not step outside. Try to stay on the straight line. Now let's practice a sequence of steps. Basic step, single turn, basic step, cross body lead, another cross body lead, basic step, single turn, cross body lead, Another cross body lead. Basic step. Single turn. Basic step. Cross body lead. Another cross body lead. You have mastered the basic step, the single turn. The cross body lead. Let's try the cross body lead with the turn. This step begins very similar to cross body lead. One, two, on three, gentleman raises the lady's hand. This signals to her that a turn is coming. And pause. Now let's do this up to this point. One, two, three, raise her hand, and pause. Five, push the lady. Six, ladies take a long step and turn counterclockwise. Seven, Face each other. Pause. Let's do it. Five, push the lady. Six, ladies take a long step and turn counterclockwise. Seven, face each other. Pause. Let's do the whole step. One, 
two, three, raise her hand, pause, five, push the lady, six, ladies take a long step and turn counterclockwise, seven, face each other, pause. Let's do it one more time coming back, one, two, raise her hand, push, step across, turn, face each other, pause. Let's practice. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So far, we have learned the basic step, the single turn, the crossbody lead. And the crossbody lead with turn. Next, we will practice the open break with a turn. And the side by side. Part of the fun of night clubbing is dressing up for the night. Let's explore the world of salsa dance dress. Bright colors, lots of sexy fringes. You have to be able to move in your dress. Low cut back, halter style. Midriff. These are the staple garments of salsa dance clothing. And in the dark nightclub, your rame dress stands out. Uh, what used to be called spandex has no meaning in the fashion. We talked with Azita, the owner designer of Tosca Fashion. This is popular among salsa and tango dancers. It's made of micro matte jersey and is accentuated with mesh folds. It's open in both front and back, giving a lot of flexibility and movability to the dancer, allowing even acrobatic moves. This is more decorative. Here's an example of a more decorative matte jersey. It has rhinestones on it, with scallop on the bottom. It used to be that dancers had to put on rhinestones themselves, but nowadays, a lot of fabric comes with rhinestone built in. Micro velvet is the replacement for the traditional silk velvet, which does not stretch and is hard to maintain. Not a good characteristic for a dancewear. This fabric sells a lot in Japan and Asian countries, where silk velvet is appreciated. What suede used to be again? Suede used to be very expensive and hard to maintain. Don't worry, micro suede to the rescue. It stretches and it's soft. It's easy to maintain and you can hand wash it. On top, it comes in a variety of colors. This fabric is made of micro lace, 
beautiful, sexy, and it stretches. The Stress's neckline is sweetheart shaped, a tradition that dates back to the 1930s and 40s. Marilyn Monroe used to wear a lot of sweetheart shaped neckline, very sexy for women. Lace with rhinestone added in the flowers in the fabric. One of the best dresses for competitions and shows. Not just for clubs, it is one of the best dresses for performers and evening wear. With the red lining underneath, it is very Latin, very tango. Women who are shy about showing a lot of skin like it too. Since the arms are covered, yet see-through. Very sexy. This micro velvet dress has bugle beads fringe. Bugle beads is one of the most expensive beads for dancewear decoration. Elegant, yet sassy. This stretch lace dress has an open back, covered with skin tone mesh. Now, when you're dancing hard, the last thing you want to worry about is your underwear, isn't it? Special dancer's bra has clear elastic straps. They not only hold your chest firmly in place, but they become invisible against your skin. It's a three-way adjustable, and you can wear a low-cut back, halter style, and midriff without worry. This clear elastic underwear not only covers the private area, it allows you to wear a high-cut slit, an asymmetrical skirt, or a wraparound. Okay, ladies get to dress up. What about us men? Your job is to make us women look good. So dress sharp, elegant, but don't go too loud. For us guys, there is one piece of jewelry, the thumb ring. You wear it on your left hand, the hand that sends signals to your partner. In the dark nightclub dance floor, a little shiny thumb ring makes it easy for your partner to find your hand. Now go out there and get yourself some sexy salsa dancewear. Side by side. For this step, you want to hold hands above your waist. One, gentlemen, use your left hand and gently push away the lady. At the same time, with your left foot, step out sideways and raise your arms straight to head high. The lady does the same. Your weight should be on the outside legs. Let's do this together. Hold your hands waist high, push out and open up. One, arms high. Be sure all your feet are in a straight line. Next, shift your weight to the inside feet. Two. Let's do it. Two. And three, face back to the original position and pause. Let's do it. Three, pause. Now let's do this in one movement. Hands at your waist high. One, push and open up. Two, shift your weight. Three, back to face each other. Pause. Now the other side. Five, gentlemen, use your right hand to push out. Open up the other way. Raise your arms. Shift your weight outside. Six, shift your weight. Seven, back to face each other and pause. Let's practice this in one motion. First, open up, five. Shift your weight at six. Back to face each other, seven, and pause. Now let's practice. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, 
five, six, seven. Now let's try some of the steps in sequence. Basic, single turn, cross body lead, cross body lead with a turn, side by side. Basic, single turn, cross body lead, cross body lead with a turn, side by side. Basic. Single turn, cross body lead. Cross body lead with a turn. In the next section, we'll practice the open break with a turn. Largest island in the Caribbean, gold mine of Latin music. Its culture has been heavily influenced by the Europeans. The most popular music was flamenco and opera. On the other hand, there were slaves, and their descendants brought in from Africa as free labor. Cruel work conditions, forbidden even to converse. Unable to bring their own musical instrument, they built percussive instruments on their own. Their unique drum beat eventually gave birth to a new Cuban music. In the 1920s, son became popular in Havana. Son was an African-influenced music with drum and song. Son traveled to New York where it was called rumba. From there, it spread to all over the world. In the 1940s, the mambo incorporated elements of jazz and became a commercial success. Cuban pianist Perez Prado is credited for creating the mambo. The mambo dance is six steps, eight count, just like the salsa. The mambo was popular around the world, and in the 1950s, it was considered its golden age. In 1959, the Cuban Revolution, when the United States and Cuba lost communication, the Latin musicians in New York had to stand on their own. This also allowed Mexican and Puerto Rican musicians to come out of the Cuban musicians' shadows. Salsa, as a music genre, was established in the early 70s. One milestone is considered to be the Fania All-Stars Live, organized by the Fania label, the biggest salsa label of the time. Before salsa, there was Boogaloo, a fusion of Latin music and rhythm and blues that was popular during the 60s. Jam sessions with jazz, rock, and soul musicians are said to have led the way to the birth of salsa. The term salsa is said to have come from the Spanish word that means spice, because Afro-Cuban rhythm was really hot. Salsa in the late 70s and later has been incorporating hip-hop and the Dominican merengue. This is a salsa dance from the 70s. You can see the difference from today's salsa dance. Since the 90s, with the popularity of Latin pop rising, salsa has become faster and more acrobatic. Now 
let's try the open break with a turn. This step begins very similar to single turn. One, two, three, raise her hand, make turn in five, six, seven, pause. The next part is a little complicated. Please just watch once. One, gentleman pushes back, left foot back. This is open break. On two, three, gentleman raises her hand, steps forward. While the lady steps across, making a half turn. On five, six, seven, open break one more time and back to facing each other. Let's take a look again, step by step. One, gentleman keeps his left hand and holds lady's hand, step back. One, gentleman steps back on left foot. The lady on her right foot. Let's do this part. One, open break. On two, three, you will face each other. On two, gentleman raises his hand and steps across. While the lady steps across, making a half turn showing her back to him. And on three, you two face each other again. Lady steps across with her right foot, makes a half turn counterclockwise. Gentleman pivots on his right foot. The lady raises the hands higher and steps underneath. Let's do it. Two, raise her hand. Step across, three, Turn with your back toward him. And face each other. Pause. Let's see if you can do this in real time. One, two, three. Now, second open break. Five, six, seven, and back. Five, the lady uses her left foot to step back. Gentlemen, right foot. This is the second open break. On six, seven, step back to each other. Six, shift your weight. Seven, step back to each other. Pause. Let's do this part slowly. Five, open break. Six, shift weight. Seven, back to each other. Pause. Let's do the whole thing in one sequence. First, a single turn. One, two, three, raise her hand. The lady makes a turn. Five, six, seven, pause. Now open break. One, two, three. Lady, turn with your back to the gentleman. Another open break and back to each other. Five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven. Let's do this in real time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 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 Let's practice with other steps. Basic, single turn, cross body lead, cross body lead with a turn, side by side.
open break with a turn. Mastered your steps and you've practiced with Lana and Edgar. Let's go out for a night on the town. Well, before that, there are rules and manners in the nightclubs. Here, we'll give you a quick lesson on manners at nightclubs. Oh, I am so bored. I wish someone would ask me to dance. A wallflower never gets asked. If you want to be asked to dance, stand close to the dance floor and move to the beat. Express with your entire body that you want to dance. Soon, someone will come over and ask you to dance. She's cute. I gotta dance with her. What? You can't just grab a lady's hand. My boyfriend will beat you up. First, ask nicely, and I'm with a date. Ask my date first. You won't say no. Here's a big no-no, taking your personal article to the dance floor. It could be dangerous. And don't take your drink to the dance floor. And do not wear loose jewelry. things you could do to your partner. Salsa is all about communication between man and woman. Pay attention to your partner. On the other hand, you can't focus on your partner alone. A good dancer always keeps attention to people around you and your partner. This happens to a lot of beginning dancers. You forget your steps and stop. Our advice is don't stop. Just keep moving with the basic steps. Sooner or later you'll remember another step and you'll keep dancing. When a dance is over, don't keep me hanging. A gentleman always thanks his partner and escorts her to her table. Now let's review the steps so far. Basic, single turn, cross body lead, another cross body lead, Cross body lead with a turn. Another cross body lead with a turn. Open break with a turn. Side by side. For the finish, a dip. Let's practice the dip. It begins like a cross body lead. One, gentleman steps toward lady. Two, step aside to give lady a pathway. Three, step back. Lady, step forward. Now it's your turn. One, step toward lady. Two, Begin to step aside. Three, step aside. Ladies, start cross. On five, the gentleman gently gives the lady a push. The lady steps across, ready to turn. Six, starts her turn. The gentleman moves along with her. And notice, 
Once Lady starts to turn, the gentleman keeps his and her hands up until the dip is complete. Seven, dip. Five, gentleman raises Lady's hand, gives her a push. The Lady starts with her left foot. Six, turn counterclockwise. Notice she makes a full turn in six. Seven, another half turn, the dip, and pause. When you dip, both gentleman and lady support your weight with your bent leg. One of the most commonly made mistakes is for the lady to put her weight into the gentleman. Keep your weight on your own feet. Now let's practice this from the top one more time. One, step toward the lady. Two, gentleman opens a path for the lady. Three, the gentleman steps aside. Pause. Five, raise her hand. Start across, six, turn, seven, dip. And pause. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, Seven. Let's do it in a sequence. Basic, single turn, basic, cross body lead, another cross body lead, basic, cross body lead with a turn, another cross body lead with a turn, basic, Open break with a turn. Basic. Side by side. Cross body lead twice. And dip. just a beginning. You can learn more advanced steps and techniques from dance instructors in your area, from watching and studying other dancers, or you can wait for the sequel to this program. In the meantime, we'll show you some of the more acrobatic advanced technique here on screen. Préstame pa' 
Ah, 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 ah,